Hello and welcome everyone to this week's edition of the Redline Report. I'm your host, Reagan Payne. Today in Freight Findings, I have a spotlight on the flatbed market. For Recruiting Roundup, I've got five ways to better your recruiting approach. In Newsworthy Nods, we're talking about New Hampshire's results from this year's road check. Back to freight findings, average flatbed rates in the top 10 markets increased by 12 cents per mile last week. There were some major fluctuations within the average, but that's been common this year. In Memphis, volumes were down 4% this week, while spot rates were up 11 cents per mile. Houston had a 12% drop in weekly volume, and that resulted in a rate hike of 17 cents per mile. In contrast, volumes in Montgomery, Alabama were down 9% this week, but capacity was extremely tight, driving up rates by 70 cents per mile to an average of 4.85 per mile. Loads on the 161 mile haul to Atlanta are currently averaging 6.22 per mile, which is well into round trip rate territory. Even rates from Atlanta back to Montgomery are averaging 4.67 per mile this week. For recruiting roundup, I've got five ways to better your recruiting approach. Number one, lifestyle. Drivers care less and less about sign-on bonuses and more about quicker payouts, home time, stability, and the life they lead while working for you. Number two, win-win situations. We already know what drivers care about. Pay, home time, equipment, miles, and insurance. In that order, according to Hire Master data. Solve their problems and build your relationship that way. Number three, audience awareness. As an industry, we're pretty well versed in the typical male driver wants and needs. With women only making up 10% of truck drivers, targeting them with your marketing and recruiting materials is not a bad idea. Highlighting personal safety efforts does not hurt either. Number four, referral recruiting. The drivers you already have can be your best resource as ambassadors for your company. If a referral program exists, don't let them forget about it. Include this in the materials your drivers see often, if not every day. Number five, an easy application. A 2020 Transforce group study found that 61% of drivers are overwhelmed by the online application process. There is necessary information to obtain throughout this process, but it can be done through email and text technology. HireMaster uses both of these when communicating with drivers. Make sure this application is mobile friendly, as some drivers are already on the road. For newsworthy nods, the New Hampshire State Police compiled a detailed report on their results from this year's road check. The division inspected a total of 356 commercial vehicles. Of those, only 25 had no critical violations. Troopers say that they discovered a total of 709 violations, of which 125 were critical and resulted in the vehicle or its driver being placed out of service. You can check out the direct quote from the state police in the PDF linked below. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of the Redline Report. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check us out next week for more.